got him on the frog. First frog bass of the year in February. Let's go. <laughs> That's got to be the earliest I've ever caught a frog bass. I have done a bit of fishing in Florida. If you guys have been longtime viewers of the channel, I was down here for the national championship myself at one point. Then I've done some Texas fishing like in January, but it was cold down there. I was not catching anything on a frog. That's probably the earliest I've ever caught a frog bass. I will take it all day long. A little like pounder, a little 12 incher, but she crushed it. Hopefully there's some big ones in this pond. I really have no idea what we're getting ourselves into here. Might be really good, might be kind of mid, might be bad, I don't know. Hopefully there's some big old Floridian giants though. That's a beautiful little fish. Legitimately, you've only made about three casts. Took one of this bank, one of this bank, and then bombed one out the middle right there. But there's a lot of submerging vegetation out here. Doesn't look super deep. up in the stuff there super duper shallow a little bit better kind of might be a tad bit thicker about the same length about a 12 incher crushing that old Guggen squad frog heck yeah boy yeah a little bit better fish there's got to be some big ones in here this pond looks too freaking good man I haven't done a lot of pond fishing over the last like five six seven years really since I moved out of Illinois and um even when I used to do a lot of pond fishing, not a lot of them look this good, man. This is perfect. Kind of has like a sandy bottom, so it's not like that really gross, like dirt, sediment kind of crap. Good weeds in here. Um, good kind of vegetation up on the shore and out there too, which is always good. So I would have to believe there might be some Floridian giants in here. Might stick ourselves five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pounder. That's what we're going for. Yep, there's one. That's not a giant giant, but that's definitely a better fish. She crushed it. We're skiing her. Come on, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Heck yes. Got ourselves a Florida Gooden right there. Not a giant, but you know, over two pounds for sure. Good like 16, 17 incher. That's a Floridian beauty right there. Literally just talking about catching some better fish and then we go ahead and do it. Yes. <laughs> There she goes. Look at that clear water, man. Oh, baby. Gonna be doing a lot of that this year. A lot more frog bass, and hopefully, hopefully everybody catches more frog bass this year. That's gonna be a fish. I'm calling it right now. Called the shot. That one tiny little reed sticking up right there. I knew there was gonna be one sitting on it. Another decent one. Look at how she ate that frog, dude. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, she got a good. Decent one. Going back in. Hello. Goodbye. I mean, that's guaranteed, right? We're going to catch one out there. Watch right here. Coming up on a little grass patch, I can see. We're going to get blown up. Yep, right there inside of the grass. Calling shots today, boys. That's insane. So I'm, I'm getting a better angle of what's going on up here too. Oh shoot, there she goes. She's okay. She's back in the water. Everything's all good. Um, but what's happening right here is uh, there's a little weed edge and it actually stops pretty hard right there. So there's like an outer weed edge and then there's kind of that inner weed edge. And inside of that inner weed edge, there's also all these little holes which actually like right there there's two bass spawning there's bass spawning inside of those little weed pockets there's two like 14 inches right there um, and that's what we're really targeting and any little difference like i said like those little holes is where i'm getting blown up or you know right on the edge of those holes where there's like a grass clump or you know like that little stalk of, of grass too so any of those little differences that's what we're looking for um, i haven't really got much on the outer weed edge other than that first bite which was a really small one it seems like a lot of those like two two and a half pounders um, they're up in these little holes right here so that's what we're primarily targeting. Might try some things a little bit later out in the, the bowl. Maybe there's some of the bigger females that I haven't pushed up yet too. I really don't know. But for now, I'm having a lot of fun. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. him three pounder got him got him yes sir oh my gosh I saw that one <laughs> she followed the frog in gosh a freaking fatty come here baby come here come here come here Come here. Yes, sir. A freaking chunk on that little like three and a half inch senko that we chopped down. Gosh dang, that's a big one. That's what I'm talking about. Biggest bass of the year so far, 2023, down here in Florida. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna get that fish back in the water. Biggest one of the year so far, probably about a four pounder, give or take. Really, really, really fat fish. I did not bring a scale with, so I wanna, don't wanna call it for sure, but give or take four pounds big fat one not super long there she goes I saw her in front of that drain she followed my frog up but she could see me ran over got the Senko flipped out there she missed it came back got her so just tried a new pond that was like my third or fourth cast in this one so it looks a little bit different there's like five or six ponds here and they all look completely different uh, one of the ones I was fishing and a guy came up and said hey there's no bass in this one so and I did fish it for like 20 30 minutes didn't catch anything um, he said the one that I started at was really good, which obviously we caught quite a few there. Saw a lot, still on beds too, but this one, very different layout. Not as much vegetation, but obviously there's some big bass in here. So we're going to give it a go. See what else we can throw around in here. Maybe the Senko along the edges here might be good. So not as much grass. Frog might not be the deal in here. There's, there's a male and a female too, so I don't know if one bites it. If it'll be the big one or the slightly smaller one. One is a body dang five pounder. Oh, she's on it. She's pissed. We're gonna try to stay back here. I don't think she could see me right here. I'll try the white bait first, because I could see it. I got this little exopod on. But if she won't commit to it, we might have to go to a natural color too. Just go by feel. But hopefully I could watch her just engulf this when it drops down. Yeah, the male's pissed. The female I don't see anymore. Oh, he tried to eat it and I pulled it away. Got him. Look, he's not even that bad. He looks small compared to that big one, too. Yeah, that's a decent fish. It's probably like the third biggest one I've caught. And the other one looks like a gargantuan compared to this. It's at least a five, I'd say. Because that one's probably pushing two pounds. She's a little skinny. Or he, I guess, because like I said, it's probably the male. But there's a big one on there. And she's kind of just cruising around though. This one started guarding it pretty heavily. Little bow spawn exopod. Nice bass. Get him back on there. Beautiful, beautiful. There he goes. All right, we need to catch the big one now. See, now she's on there. That's the thing. Usually when you catch the one male, it's usually the thing. When you catch the male, it usually gets that female kind of fired up. Big one's on there. Come on, be excitable. Didn't really move. It's not good nor bad. We gotta get her before the other one comes back on the bed because then she's gonna get real finicky. And that one could come back at any second. <gasps> she mouthed it, she mouthed it. I saw her whole side. Oh, come on, stay there. Oh my gosh, she did it again. 
The big ones are so good at just sucking this thing in and then spitting it right back out. Got her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yup. It's a fiver. Yup. Yup. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. It's a Floridian big one. Oh my gosh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh God. Oh God. And that's why we do it, boys and girls. I can't believe I don't have a scale with me. Gosh dang, look at the mouth on that one. She's not like super fat, but she's not skinny either. My gosh, I'm gonna have to flip the GoPro around so you guys can see this one. I can't believe I didn't bring a scale with me to Florida. That's just stupid. But I'm glad I retied because as you can see, uh, we had a little nick in the line. That might not, not have went so well for us, but I'm saying that fish has to be six pounds. She's big. She's probably like 21 inches, give or take. And like I said, she's not like an obese belly, but she's on a bed. She's still got a little bit in there, still a little bit thick, and just a big old Floridian bass, man. Gosh dang, we're going to get her back on that bed, though, so she can make some more babies in this pond. I'm glad I found a decent pond. It was not looking so good here for a little bit, but today we found some good stuff. Gosh, that's a big one. Alrighty. Getting her right back on her bed there. Getting that fish right back to where she came from. Might be a contender for biggest bass of the year, and we don't even know truly how big it is. Six something. Seven. I don't know. Big. Big, 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 big.